जे सुरेश कुमार डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश के सर कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस गवर्नमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी ट्रांसलेशन स्टडीज थर्ड बी इंग्लिश सेमेस्टर सिक्स यूनिट वन लेट्स एंटर इट द टॉपिक यूनिट वन कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन डी कोडिंग एंड री कोडिंग एंड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इक्वल्स लेट्स वन बै वन इंट्रोडक्शन Before entered into the topic, uh, in brief introduction was given about by translation studies. A translation studies is an academic interdiscipline with the systematic study of the theory, description, and application of translation, interpreting and localization. Based on the localization and interpreting the text, the entire translation studies was begin. As an interdiscipline, the translation studies borrows much from the various fields of studies and supports the translations. because the translation studies believe on the other languages next the types of translation major the, there are three types of translations one is intralingual translation and second one is interlingual translation and third one is inter semiotic translation let's see one by one as a brief a interlingual translation is an interpretation of verbal signs and second one is interlingual translation is a or translation proper that means the interpretation of the verbal signs by means of some other languages the inter semiotic translations or transmutation or you know well known about the mutation the term mutation defines means that was inducing someone the inter semiotic translation or transmutation is an interpretation of verbal signs by means signs of non verbal sign system next the decoding and recoding the decoding is a concept of comprehension and analysis while recording consists of a reformulation and restructuring the transfer from decoding to recoding take place in the subconscious part of the mind a recoding refers the process of adapting or modifying the original message to the suit linguistic and cultural conventions of the target language or audience there are two types of languages in the based on the translation studies one is source language and another one is target language a uh, source text or another one is a target text this means a uh, include a change of idioms metaphor and cultural reference and specific to source languages the last topic of unit 1 is problems of equivalence equivalence is defined as a relationship existing between the two or more entities and the relationship or described as one of likeness or sameness or similarity or equality this remains together all called as a problems of equivalence that means a likeness or maybe a sameness or maybe a similarity or maybe equality of the meaning to transfer a text equivalence has 